Imagine a world without sweetness, no sugar in your morning coffee, no juicy oranges to brighten your day, no chewy dates to satisfy a midnight craving. This is the story of how nature's humble plants sugarcane, sugar beets, citrus fruits, and dates become the sweet staples that define our meals, cultures, and economies. From the sun-drenched fields of Brazil to the arid deserts of the Middle East, these crops travel a remarkable path, shaped by centuries of tradition, technology, and the tireless hands of farmers. Join us on this epic journey to uncover the secrets of these brown gold treasures, where every grain of sugar, every sip of juice, and every bite of fruit carries a story of human ingenuity and nature's generosity. If you're fascinated by the hidden world of agriculture, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Agriculture Insight for more captivating stories from the heart of our food system. Picture yourself standing in the heart of a sugarcane field in Brazil, Esse São Paulo State, where endless rows of towering emerald green stalks sway under a blazing tropical sun. Brazil, the undisputed king of sugarcane, produces over 700 million tons annually, fueling a global industry worth over $40 billion. Sugarcane, a deceptively simple grass, is a powerhouse of sweetness, boasting up to 16% natural sugar content, far surpassing crops like corn or wheat, which hover below 10%. Remarkably, just 10 stalks can yield a kilogram of refined sugar, making sugarcane one of nature's most efficient sweet resources. The sugarcane harvest is a symphony of planning and precision. In Brazil, the season kicks off with a controversial yet traditional practice, field burning. Farmers set controlled fires to remove dry leaves and tops, reducing debris like fallen leaves, insects, and organic matter. This streamlines harvesting and cuts transportation costs by focusing on sugar-rich stalks. However, burning produces significant smoke and emissions, prompting strict regulations in countries like Brazil, Australia, and India. Fires are now limited to specific times and conditions to minimize air pollution and protect public health. Increasingly, Modern harvesters are replacing burning cutting, cutting fresh cane to align with sustainable practices. These harvesters are engineering marvels, processing 80 to 120 tons of cane per hour equivalent to the labor of dozens of workers. Equipped with rotating blades, they slice stalks close to the ground, preserving roots for regrowth. Onboard systems strip leaves and tops, which are returned to the field as mulch, enhancing soil fertility and moisture retention. The chopped Cane is collected in large holding chambers and transferred to trucks, ensuring freshness for processing. Delays can cause dehydration, reducing sugar content, so speed is critical in this high-stakes operation. The human element is central to sugar cane farming. In Brazil, workers like Joao, a third-generation cane cutter, rise before dawn to operate. These machines, Joao's family has worked the fields for decades, blending traditional knowledge with modern tools. My grandfather cut cane by hand with a machete, he says. Now, machines do the heavy lifting, but we still know the land like the back of our hands. Their expertise ensures the harvest runs smoothly, preserving the crop's quality, and supporting rural communities, the sugar factory. The transformation from stock to crystal is a blend of science and art. Trucks or trains deliver cane swiftly to prevent sugar loss, and on-site laboratories test samples for sweetness ensuring only the best batches proceed. The stalks are washed under high-pressure water sprays to remove soil, sand, and debris, protecting machinery and ensuring the purity of the extracted juice. This cleaning is crucial, as impurities can compromise the quality of the final product. The cleaned cane is fed into cutting machines that chop it into smaller segments, preparing it for crushing. These segments pass through interlocking metal gears that tear them apart followed by heavy rollers that squeeze out raw juice at a rate of up to 30 tons per hour. The rollers extract sugar efficiently, maximizing output. The leftover pulp, known as bagus, is collected for sustainable uses, reflecting the industry's commitment to zero waste. The raw juice, fragrant with the earthy sweetness of cane, is purified with lime, which causes impurities like fibers and organic residue to precipitate out the clarified juice enters a multi-effect evaporation system, heated at 72-150 degrees Celsius across several stages, thickening into a pale yellow syrup. In the crystallization phase, seed sugar crystals are introduced, and the syrup is cooled over hours, allowing sugar to form. A high-speed centrifuge separates the crystals from molasses, 
distinguishing brown sugar with its 3 to 5% molasses content and caramel like flavor from refined white sugar, which boasts 99.9% .9 sucrose purity. For white sugar, a deep process dissolves raw crystals in 80 degrees Celsius water, filters them through sand, gravel, and activated carbon, and centrifuges them again to produce sparkling white granules. These are dried to prevent clumping and extend shelf life, then packaged in automated lines that way, dispense, and seal sugar into plastic bags or sacks. Metal detectors ensure no contaminants remain, and each package is labeled with expiration dates and traceability codes. Ready for global markets from Snow Polo to Singapore, de Bagasse, the fibrous byproduct of cane crushing is a cornerstone of sustainability. Rather than being discarded, it's transformed into eco-friendly products like plates, cups, bowls, and paper. At recycling facilities, the gas is washed, pressed, and ground into pulp. Mixed with natural additives like starch or recycled paper, it's cooked at pay minus 200 degrees Celsius and molded under pressure into shapes. A plant-based wax coating ensures these products can hold hot or liquid foods, making them ideal for restaurants and supermarkets. These items biodegrade in 60 to 90 days under industrial composting conditions, a stark contrast to plastic which takes 500 to 1,000 years to decompose. However, in regular landfills, decomposition can be slower, underscoring the need for proper waste management. Begas products are gaining popularity worldwide, from eco-conscious cafes in Europe to street food vendors in Asia, reflecting a global shift towards sustainable packaging. In Brazil, companies like Biocane have turned Brujas into a thriving industry, creating jobs and reducing environmental impact in the United States. Sugar, beets are a vital crop, particularly in states like California, Idaho, Michigan, Nebraska, and North Dakota, supplying 55% of domestic sugar consumption. They complement sugarcane in meeting the needs of the food and beverage industries. The history of sugar beets in America dates back to the 19th century, when European immigrants introduced cultivation techniques to states like Utah today. Sugar beets are a cornerstone of American agriculture, supporting rural economies and producing livestock feed from residual pulp. Cultivation begins in spring, when farmers plow fields to remove weeds and improve drainage. Manure enhances soil, fertility, and automatic seed drills plant treated seeds 2 to 3 centimeters deep, ensuring even spacing for optimal growth. Automated irrigation systems with rotating sprinklers deliver precise water amounts, preventing water. Fertilizers containing nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are applied as a mist for direct leaf absorption, and soil tilling protects beets from environmental stress. After seven to eight months, mature beets are harvested with specialized machines that dig deep to lift roots without damage. These harvesters, costing hundreds of thousands of dollars, feature cutting blades to remove foliage and conveyor belts for cleaning, processing up to 12 rows simultaneously and yielding 30 to 70 tons per hectare. Cleaned beets are stored in roadside, yards, then transported to factories. In North Dakota, farmers like Sarah Thompson rely on these machines to manage vast fields. It's a big investment, but it's a game changer, she says. We can harvest faster and keep the beets fresh for processing. At the factory, beets are washed with high-pressure jets and rotating drums, then sorted by optical sensors, for quality. Slicing machines cut them into thin strips, or cassettes, increasing surface area for sugar extraction. These are placed in 70 degrees Celsius water tanks to dissolve sucrose, producing raw juice. Filtration with lime milk and carbon dioxide removes impurities, followed by evaporation in vacuum towers to concentrate the sugar. Crystallization, centrifugation, and drying yield, pure white crystals or syrup, packaged for consumers or industrial use mirroring the sugarcane process and in California and Florida. Citrus orchards thrive in climates ideal for oranges, tangerines, and mandarins. With the U.S. harvesting 4.9 million tons of tangerines annually, citrus cultivation has deep roots dating back to ancient China and spreading to the Mediterranean and Americas. In Florida, the industry supports communities like those in Orange County where festivals celebrate the citrus harvest. Citrus trees are often propagated through grafting, attaching a scion to a disease-resistant rootstock planted in spring. With drip irrigation, young trees are spaced for root and canopy growth.
automated fertilizer, spreaders, and pruning machines optimize nutrient delivery and tree shape, reducing disease risk. Citrus trees mature in two to three years, blooming in spring with fragrant flowers that attract bees, boosting pollination and yields. After six to eight months, ripe fruits are hand-picked to prevent bruising, with workers using clippers and ladders to collect them into bags or crates. On large farms, Canopy shakers vibrate trees to drop ripe fruit onto mats or conveyor belts, harvesting faster than manual methods. These machines, costing hundreds of thousands, are calibrated to leave unripe fruit intact. At processing facilities, fruits are washed with water, jets or brushes, sometimes with sanitizers, and sorted by optical sensors for size, color, and quality. High-quality fruits are packed with protective padding, labeled, and shipped, while others are juiced, filtered, pasteurized, and bottled in sterile environments. The culinary conveyor, a thrilling journey through ready meals, snacks, and sweet treats. Imagine it's a hectic Tuesday evening, and you're racing against the clock to get dinner on the table. The fridge is bare, and your stomach's growling, louder than a thunderstorm. You swing by the store, grab a ready meal tray, a bag of banana chips, and a pack of ice cream bars, and suddenly, life feels manageable again. These aren't just convenience foods, they're miracles of modern engineering, crafted in buzzing factories where raw ingredients transform into the meals and treats that save your day. Ever wondered how these culinary lifesavers come to life? Buckle up for an adventure through the electrifying world of food production, where robotic arms, precision blades, and high-tech wizardry turn rice, bananas, and milk into the flavors we crave. From savory meal trays to crispy snacks and decadent desserts, this is a tale of innovation, flavor, and pure deliciousness. Ready Meals, a symphony of automation step into a ready meal factory, and you're in a stainless steel wonderland where efficiency reigns supreme. The air hums with the rhythmic clatter of machinery, and conveyor belts snake through the space like arteries of flavor. These factories churn out thousands of meals in mere minutes, a testament to the power of automation. It all begins with rice, the unsung hero of countless dishes. Massive pots, gleaming under fluorescent lights, are filled with top-notch grains, each one destined for fluffy perfection. Water floods in, and the pots are sealed tight, allowing the rice to soak up moisture like a sponge. Timing is everything too. Little, and the grains stay hard. Too much, and they turn to mush. Once ready, robotic arms, Moving with the grace of a ballet dancer, flip the pots upside down to drain excess water through sieves. Fresh water is added, and the pots are prepped for steaming, but the steaming process is where the magic happens. Robotic, arms snap lids onto the pots with surgical precision, locking in heat and moisture. Steamers roll out on conveyor systems, their temperatures meticulously controlled, to avoid the twin scenes of overcooking or undercooking. Sensors monitor every second, ensuring each grain is perfectly fluffy. Once cooked, the rice is poured into trays, gliding along conveyor belts like a culinary parade. But rice is just the foundation. Crispy chicken nuggets, golden and tender, are added next, followed by vibrant veggies think, emerald green beans and ruby red peppers. A cascade of rich, savory gravy or tangy sauce completes the meal, drizzled with robotic precision to ensure every tray is a masterpiece. Before sealing, the trays hit a flash freezer, locking in freshness like a culinary time capsule. This isn't just food prep. It's a high-stakes operation where every second counts. Hygiene is king in these factories. The sealing station is a fortress of cleanliness, with strict protocols ensuring every tray is free of contaminants. Robotic arms wrap each tray in airtight packaging, creating a perfect seal that preserves flavor and safety. The trays then roll to the labeling station, where they're tagged with brand names, ingredients, and expiry dates every detail printed with laser-like accuracy. These meal trays aren't just convenient, they're engineered to deliver restaurant-quality flavor in minutes, ready to hit store shelves and rescue your busy evenings. Salad trays. Freshness meets precision for the health-conscious. Salad trays are a godsend, and their production is a marvel of precision. Picture a conveyor belt lined with trays, each one a canvas for fresh, vibrant ingredients. Machines portion out crisp lettuce, juicy tomatoes, and perfectly grilled meat slices, keeping each component pristine. Boiled eggs, sliced to uniform perfection, add a protein punch that elevates the tray to meal status. Every ingredient is carefully separated, 
ensuring your salad stays fresh and crunchy. Meanwhile, spaghetti trays glide down another line, where robotic arms drizzle rich, tomato-based sauce with the finesse of a Michelin-style chef. Each tray gets a generous splash, coating the pasta in a glossy, flavorful embrace. These trays aren't just meals, they're crafted for those who crave health without sacrificing taste. A testament to the factory's ability to balance nutrition and indulgence, banana chips, crunchy tropical blissna. Let's pivot to the snack aisle, where banana chips reign supreme. The journey starts in tropical groves, where green bananas chosen for their firm texture and low sugar content are carefully harvested. Workers sort through each bunch, selecting only the best for chip production. Why green? Because their starchy bite transforms into the perfect crunch when fried. At the factory, conveyor belts carry the bananas to peeling stations, where machines strip away skins with surgical precision, preserving the delicate fruit inside. Slicing machines take over, churning out thin, even rounds about 3 mm thick. Consistent crispiness, these slices plunge into bubbling oil, guided by conveyor belt fryers that ensure every chip emerges golden and crunchy. After a quick drain to shed excess oil, the chips hit a seasoning station, where they're dusted with bold flavors like chili, barbecue, or sea salt. Workers in masks and gloves ensure hygiene, while high-tech portioning machines sort the chips into perfect packets. Each bag is a tropical escape, packed with potassium and fiber, ready to satisfy your snack cravings. Chocolate bars, a sweet symphony after, a hearty meal. It's time for something sweet, and chocolate bars deliver in spades. The process begins with a secret blend of sugar, coconut, and creamy butter, mixed in massive machines until it forms a thick, luscious filling. High-tech blades slice the mixture into perfect bars, each one a promise of indulgence. Then comes the star of the show, the chocolate waterfall. These bars glide through a cascading pool of rich, velvety chocolate, emerging with a glossy coating that hardens in a cooling tunnel. Temperature control is critical to warm, and the chocolate melts, too cold, and it sets unevenly. Robotic arms handle every step, from dipping to packaging, ensuring each bar is flawless. The result, a crunchy, creamy treat that's impossible to resist, whether you're sneaking one as a midday pick-me-up or sharing with friends. Ice cream, from farm to freezino, food journey, is complete without ice cream. The ultimate crowd-pleaser, it all starts on the farm where advanced technology ensures cows are cared for and milked with precision. Fresh milk is whisked to factories, where it's pasteurized to ensure safety and quality. In massive blending tanks, the milk is mixed with cream, sugar, and stabilizers, whipped at freezing temperatures to achieve that creamy, fluffy texture we all love. The mixture flows into depositors, where precision blades slice it into symmetrical portions. Robotic arms slide sticks into each portion, transforming the creamy goodness into handheld bars. Some bars take a dip in a chocolate bath, emerging with a glossy, crunchy shell that cracks with every bite. Others are sandwiched between crisp biscuits or nestled into waffle cones, each one a nostalgic nod to childhood summers. Cooling tunnels. Set the chocolate or ice cream just right, while robotic arms pack the treats into cartons with seamless efficiency. From vanilla's classic charm to exotic flavors like mango or matcha, these factories churn out joy in every scoop. Dot the factory finale. Innovation meets indulgence. These factories are more than production lines. They're innovation hubs, where raw ingredients become culinary magic. Ready meals save your weeknights with their savory perfection, crafted by robotic precision and obsessive hygiene. Salad trays deliver health and flavor in every bite, portioned with care. Banana chips transform humble fruit into crunchy bliss while chocolate bars and ice cream bars elevate dessert to an art form. Every product is a story of ingenuity, from the fields to the factory floor, blending nature's gifts with cutting-edge tech. So, the next time you pop open a meal tray, crunch on a chip, or savor an ice cream bar, remember the epic journey behind it. Hit that like button if you're hungry for more, and let's keep exploring the delicious world of food production.